So that is 4.59 a.m. for those of you unaware. As you can see out the windows, it is still pitch black out. We had a sleep schedule mishap over the last 24 hours. Basically what happened was uh, last night, I went to bed really, really late. Like, I don't remember what time exactly, but late past 3 a.m. I believe. And then I got woken up really, really early because Ariana had to get up and go to class, I think. <laughs> anyway, she got up at like 7 or something like that, but she... Rudely kept the lights on and um, it just woke me on up. It was just one of those weird situations where like you get woken up but, like your brain just awake right off the bat. So I couldn't fall back asleep. So I ended up just getting up and getting some work done. And I was on the computer getting stuff done until probably like 10 in the morning. And then around that time I decided to finally try and get a little bit more sleep so I wouldn't be like sleep deprived. So I went back to sleep and I slept really well. But I slept until like, like 4.30 p.m. I think. It made it so when I tried going to bed around like 2.30, 3 a.m., it didn't happen because I had slept all day long. So we ended up pretty much pulling it all night. It's 5 in the morning, and I'm pretty damn hungry. And as you can see, this chicken, I believe it's done thawing. Yeah, it's still a little, little firm. Chicken is almost done thawing, but I really do not feel like sitting here and opening that up and cooking that and dealing with that right now. I'll deal with that later. Do you like this? You know that's not mine. That is... If any man drinks black ras Bacardi, I mean, I won't judge, but I <laughs> need to say that's not mine. I don't feel like dealing with the chicken breast right now. Oh, and no, that black ras was not from last night either. That's not why I didn't get sleep. <laughs> My point here is, guys, I think I'm going to have to go to 7-Eleven down the street and get food. I know, it's, it's, that's a new low, but uh, we got to get the calories in, and I might, might actually go hit up Ocean State Health and Fitness, my gym, and do an early, early morning training session. This will be the earliest I think I've ever been in the gym in my life. And they open around 4.30, so it's doable. As far as the food goes, I actually kept a pretty good deficit going yesterday. Um, so I have some calories to spare. 7-Eleven food's not that great. We got the burgers and whatnot all pre-made. But it's calories. It's fuel for the fire. Too lazy to actually put on my real shoes crew checking in. So <laughs> I've been wearing dress shoes like literally everywhere I go. Some may think I'm just classy like that, but realistically, it's because I'm lazy. It might be snowing right now. I don't like. Ramiro and the Jet Morning Show. I'm a 94 5. That's right, I'm. So a couple of weeks ago, I showed you that I had construction going on in the front of my house. Well, here's the update. Those rotted, decrepit steps that are in the front are no longer here. A brand new door, all new siding, and I have these nice-ass futuristic lights put on. <laughs> I'm pretty happy with it. That's the update. There is still some construction going on, as you can see. But that is the progress thus far. And I got a new mailbox. So $7 later, not a big deal. We got a tuna fish sandwich, or tuna salad sandwich. We have a sausage, egg, and cheese on the New York Kaiser roll. So, not the best of the best quality-wise, but quite honestly, it's not all that bad. Like, it's bread and tuna and all that. I don't care. I do know it tastes delicious. It really does. Like, I'll eat anything. I'm, I am actually human garbage disposal. And on top of that, I'm just going to mount down, turn it all into energy, or constipation, or diarrhea, one of the three. And go deadlift and such. Meal down. Time to go uh, digest and change and whatnot and then head to the Jimmy Poo. So I just got some new fresh threads in the mail. Seriously, new shirts. Actually, these are really, really cool. I want to show you guys this. This is actually a company I would like to see a lot of you support because the theme behind it is really good. I think it's very motivating. And then on top of that, uh, a good percentage, I think 10% of every shirt sold goes to a good charity. But um, look, at, look at these. I love it when shirts come beautifully wrapped like that. It's just so pristine. MOP! Muscles on porpoise. Seriously, a porpoise, in case you guys don't know, is actually that jacked ass mammal right there. It's in the dolphin family. It looks like a dolphin, except they have 22 inch striated arms like that. IRL in real life. <laughs> but no, seriously, it's actually it's a play on words. So it's spelt porpoise like the actual mammal. But it's meant to be, obviously, muscles on purpose. I just think of Popeye. Muscles on poipus. You know it's 5.30 in the morning. So their whole theme is basically muscles on purpose. I believe their slogan is something like, better because you want to be. 
So I love that first and foremost. As somebody who always got told that I was not going to be a bodybuilder back when I was 104 pounds, somebody that, that, that got literally laughed at and made fun of because I announced to the school as a sophomore that I wanted to start bodybuilding and weightlifting and couldn't even bench 65 pounds, I really, really take that theme to heart. I wanted to be better. I wanted to get strong. And so far, every single goal that I've ever had, I nailed it. So I love the whole idea of stop wishing, make it happen. What you think is what you manifest to go out and get it. And that's what their whole thing is about. Muscles on purpose because you want it. So that's an awesome theme. On top of that, guys, the biggest thing that got me about this company is 10% of every piece of clothing that is sold goes to the Juvenile Diabetes Research Fund, or foundation, excuse me. All the shirts and stuff are around 20 bucks, which is not expensive. It costs a lot to make clothing. I know firsthand from making my own clothing, if you are donating 10% of your clothing profit while you're only selling it at about 20-ish bucks to begin with, you're not making a whole lot on the clothing. So, I, I don't know. This company's doing a really good thing, guys. As you can see, the clothing is really complimenting. It's fitting to the physique. It's tight. It looks good. It's super soft. So if you guys are looking to restock on just new shirts, they have tank tops. They have sleevelesses. They have everything. They have a ton of different clothing. Um, if you guys are looking to restock on clothing, I honestly really, really recommend and encourage you to go and at least just get a shirt or a tank top or two from this specific site, MusclesOnPurpose.com. I put it in the info box because they're not only a good meaning, but they're also doing a really good thing. So, MOP to the death. That's in the info box below, guys. I just want to show what I live like. When a white virgin on a winter night. It is an absolute ghost town out here. Drove up here and it's pitch black in the entire plaza. And I'm wondering if they're even open, but clearly they are. I'm just not used to this whole morning time thing. So it's uh, 6 a.m. on the dot. 6:10 a.m. on the dot. We're gonna go do it. Basically, it's a race to get this thing done before the sleep finally catches up to me and I get really tired. So this is how it was left set up. Everything's nice and neat in the morning time. Not to mention empty. Both owners are in the gym. So this is dynamic lower body day. This is the second lower body day of the week. Still on week number one of Simon's new training program. Again, his channel is linked in the info box below, guys. My new coach. Oh, my phone just went off. That was rude of me. Anyway, warmed up nice with the bar this morning. I don't always warm up like this before deadlifts, even though it's not a bad idea at all. Just trying to get the muscles, you know, working and activating and get the blood flowing. But I was certainly sore as can be from Monday's deadlift session the one in which I pulled at 525 on a deficit. Because I hadn't really deadlifted heavy in like two weeks, basically since my meets, I was extra sore after that last deadlift session. So I spent a good amount of time warming up, and I really foam rolled my back. My rectus felt really sore. But I felt good, though. Nothing felt tweaked. It was all sore in the good kind of way. Anyway, today, we're not using any real weight, and obviously we're using a variation of deadlifts. Today is the sumo deadlift, and Simon just has me doing 10 singles with only 70% of my max. So I believe it was 365 that we had in the bar, 365 pounds. Let's do uh, 10 singles, and the goal is speed and technique. So it is a ghost town at this hour in the morning, save for a couple of elderly people that were looking at me like I had 10 heads because I had the camera tripod out. It's funny, I'm used to going at the same time of day in the afternoon in which everybody knows me and they know that I'm a YouTuber and they know what I do so they think nothing of the camera. In fact, the lady working the desk must only work mornings because she kind of looked at me funny when I just walked by the desk instead of checking in, whereas everybody in the afternoon hour knows me <laughs> so it was kind of funny but the owners were there and there was no music playing when I walked in which is also very different and then suddenly rap came on and they never put on rap so I think they put on music for me which was very very nice of them anyway guys working on speed reps here that's why we're taking one to two minutes of rest time between reps despite not being a heavyweight because we want to make them as fast as possible even though fast is non-existent when it comes to me and sumos I'm just not built for sumos I'm better built for conventional it's funny to me that people still believe sumos are just easier for everybody. It's very subjective. But basically, as long as your 10th rep is as fast as your first rep, you're doing it correctly.
tiredness is kicking in now. I'm starting to really feel it. <laughs> Bedtime. Touching back on that sumo deadlift debate really quick, it's very strange to me that some people still believe that the sumo deadlift will always be a stronger position for anybody to deadlift in simply because it has less range of motion. That would be like suggesting if you get a super wide grip on the bench, you will automatically bench press more weight because it's less range of motion from the bar to your chest. And that's simply not the case. Some people are just not strong in a wide grip. Just like some people are not strong with a wide stance when deadlifting. Some people are more hip dominant versus being more adductor and leg dominant, etc. So it's very, very subjective to the person's individual build, whether they are stronger conventionally or sumo. Anyway, guys, four sets of 15 on rows and then four sets of 25 on abs. Simon's going to get me jacked. Oh, it's daylight out. I love this gym. OSHF. This is right in East Greenwich, Rhode Island, guys. Ocean State Health and Center if you ever want to visit me. As you can see, it's daylight and it's no longer snowing, I don't think. So, that's good. In the valley of the hollow. Woo! In the valley of the hollow. 7.20 a.m. and that's all done. And now I'm really tired. And I'm really sore. First week back at it and Silence Program's kicking my ass, but I love it. Hey, real quick, this is going to be a little cringeworthy. But uh, it's going to be a little fun, too. I want to know. I'm going to say some lyrics real quick, right? I'm going to list these lyrics out. And I want you guys to be honest with me. All right? Be honest. If you can name the song, if you can name the artist, I'm sure you'll be able to name the artist. You can name the song and what album it was on. Please do so in the comments below. And guys, please, I'm asking you, just for the sake of fun, just for the sake of, of the challenge, if you can't get it and you have to Google it, please don't blow it for anybody else trying to guess. If you Google it, just say, I Googled it. Like, if you got it, you know the song, just say, I got it, I Googled it. Leave it at that. Don't name it. I'm really, really, really curious to see who knows this song or not, because this, this will show how much of a fan you really are of the artist. All right, so the lyrics are this. Get ready for a cringeworthy moment. Tell me if you know it. Warning, this shit gonna be rated all restricted. You see this bullet hold on my neck? It's self-inflicted. Doctor slapped my mama. Bitch, you got a sick kid. Molested, arrested myself, and got convicted. We were advised with sunglasses in disguises cause my split personality was having an identity crisis. I'm Dr. Hyde and Mr. Jekyll. Disrespectful, hearing voices in my head while these whispers echo. Murder, murder, red rum. Brain size of a breadcrumb. What drug will I end up dead from? Inebriated, till my stress is alleviated. How in the fuck can Eminem and Shady be related? Illiterate of it, illegitimate shit spitter, bitch hitter, hit in the bush like can you guess those lyrics? I, I jumbled a couple of the words because I've been up for like 24 hours straight now so I'm kind of losing my mind, my mind to mouth connection here. I'm curious though, can you, and if you google it guys please just be honest, just say I got it, I google it, don't spoil it. Curious. Major respect to you if you know it. Hey.